So one of the many things Monster Hunter doesn't do a great job of explaining is the idea of monster research levels and scout fly levels and how those two things are related. Uh, because they are related, but they're not the same thing. So let's start by looking at our hunter's notes. Uh, in our hunter's notes, we have our monster field guide. And this is a helpful guide that will tell you information about the different monsters you can hunt in Monster Hunter. When you're at research level zero for a monster, you don't get a lot of practical information, but you'll get a basic description of them. Now, when you move up to research level one, you unlock the physiology tab of the monster guide. Here you can see what elements the monster is weak to, which ailments they're the most susceptible to, and how you can do the most damage to each body part. So here on the pink Raytheon, we can see that there are breakable parts on the head, wings, and tails, and that the head is its weakest part. The sword, hammer, and bullet icons correspond to cutting, blunt, and ranged damage, and we can see here that they all have three stars, which means that not one particular type of damage does better against the head of a pink Raytheon. Now, when you move up to research level two of a monster, you unlock another tab, the low rank rewards tab. As you might know in Monster Hunter, different sets of armor and weapons require specific pieces of a monster, and you can use this page to figure out exactly how to get those pieces from a monster. So for example, here on the Diablos, if you need a twisted horn, you can see that you can do that by breaking the Diablos's horn. If you need a Diablos tail case, you can get that by cutting off the tail and carving that. And when you reach research level three for a monster, the game will also reveal the rare drops that the monster can provide, in this case, the Rathalos plate. For the first 20 or so hours of Monster Hunter, you're only going to see the research levels 1 through 3, but at a certain point you will also unlock 5 through 6, and those more or less function the same way. Here for example, we've reached research level 4 on the Great Jagras, so now we can see the rewards that the high rank version will drop. The way you increase your research level is fairly simple, you do it by hunting monsters. When you're out in the environment, your scout flies will lead you to traces of certain monsters. Each time you pick up a trace of the monster, it'll give you some points that go towards your research score. You'll also get points for fighting monsters and destroying certain parts of their bodies. Once you've gathered enough points for a monster, you'll get a notification to return to the ecological researcher back in Estera. Now this is how you actually get this information about your monster updated into your monster guide. So you just talk to the researcher and they'll fill out the next portion of that monster's page. Your scout fly level is tied to your research level, but it's not the exact same thing. Your scout fly level determines precisely how your scout flies will guide you to a new monster. At scout fly level zero, you'll have no guidance, which means you'll just need to run around the environment collecting traces of a monster until you've leveled up your scout fly level. Once you've gathered enough traces of a monster, you get access to scout fly level one, which will give you guidance to the next track of the monster. If you continue gathering traces of the monster, you'll get scout fly level two. And this will give you guidance to the monster's exact location. When you reach scout fly level three, the map will also start showing you the monster's destination and some other information, like if they're close to death. Scout fly level is a bit confusing because unlike research level, it can decrease. For example, if it's been a while since I've hunted a Rathalos, my scout fly level for that creature will go down. The good news is that having a higher research level for a monster gives you a scout fly bonus. That means each trace of the monster you pick up moves that bar further. So for example, if I have research level three on Rathalos and I go out into the field, when I find the very first trace of it, I'll get scout fly level one, which will guide me to its next track. When I pick up that track, I'll instantly get scout level two, which will tell me exactly where the monster is on the map. And your scout fly level is sticky. So I hunted a whole bunch of Odegarans in a row. So you can see here that I'm already at scout level two. This means the instant I dropped onto a map that had an Odegaran on it, I would get a notification of exactly where it was on the map and I could just follow my scout flies there. So just to summarize, you increase your research level by gathering trace of a monster, fighting a monster, and talking to the ecological researcher. You also increase your scout fly level by gathering traces of the monster, but this level can go back down over time but once you've increased the research level of a monster, it becomes a lot easier to increase your scout fly level out in the field.